and welcome to Storytime with Saturina. Today is day 27 of our 28 Days of Black History Facts. Today we're going to be talking about Harry Belafonte. He was a singer, an actor, and an activist. Let me tell you a little bit more about Harry Belafonte. He was born in 1927. Harry was born in Harlem but spent much of his childhood on the islands of Jamaica, where his mother was from. In New York City, he and his immigrant parents lived with other families from around the world. Harry always remembered how hard each family worked, how little they earned, and how much they supported one another. School was difficult, and Harry felt that he didn't fit in, so he dropped out at 17 and joined the U.S. Navy. Later, Harry discovered that he was dyslexic, which explained why school was such a challenge for him. Afterward, it was by chance that he found his calling. While he was working as a janitor, he received, as a tip, tickets to a play. Harry had never been to a play before and fell in love with the theater. He took acting classes and started auditioning which when he landed a job at a nightclub singing popular songs, he found success. As his career grew, Harry chose to stop singing familiar hits and instead sang the Caribbean folk songs he had heard growing up, such as the Banana Boat song, Deo, and Jump in the Line. Americans hadn't heard anything like this music, and Harry became a singing sensation known as the King of Calypso. Throughout his career, Harry received numerous awards for his performances as well as his humanitarian work. He never took any roles that demeaned black people, and later he created his own film production company, which made movies that defied stereotypes of blackness. Harry gave a voice to unrepresented cultures and altered the image of black people in the media. Harry worked with his friend Martin Luther King Jr. and fought for civil rights, marching and protesting as well as encouraging other celebrities to participate. He even helped organize the 1963 March on Washington for jobs and freedom. Harry used his talents, popularity, and prestige to help make real change in the world. He encouraged future generations of artists to use their voice for good. Harry Belafonte. I hope you enjoyed that African-American fact, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.